Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. We're back for more, one more week of education with QuickBooks Books Online with information and education that you can't find anyplace else because this is the hands-on. This is helping you understand the whole process of QuickBooks. Today we're going to talk about reconciliation when things doesn't quite match because maybe there's a cup of transaction that was recorded into checking but it didn't actually clear into checking maybe you pay with a ca with cash or with a personal credit card or something like that but ended up somehow recording into the checking account when you reconcile account it doesn't match so what to do how to fix so and remove those transactions so you can reconcile the way it's supposed to that's exactly what we're going to talk about today and we are going to quickbooks online all right here is our sample account uh we are on the craig's 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 landscaping and how to get to reconciliation first of all uh what is reconciliation why why do we need to reconcile okay we reconcile to make sure that every single transaction is accounted for uh, you know we want to make sure that all the expenses and all the income are there and that there is no duplication on the income and there is no missing transaction on the expense you want to make sure it's accurate not just for tax purposes but mostly for you to know how your business is doing you want to you want to know exactly where you are and how are you going to know where you are if the inform the right information is not in the books so that's why we reconcile the account and it is a very important step to take so first of all um, this is just a simple account so we don't have a uh, bank statement but I'll be looking at the bank statement here and the information I'm looking at the bank statement is the beginning balance that should match whatever I have here I'm gonna put here the ending balance let's suppose the be ending balance is 227251 I'm looking at the bank statement I'm also looking at all the deposit and all your the expenses recorded on the bank account and the date of the statement is very important bank accounts usually are on the end of the year I'm sorry end of the month <laughs> but um, for credit card sometimes is in the middle of the month so you want to make sure that you had the right the right date okay so we're going to start reconciling here um, if your bank account is connected with QuickBooks all the transactions coming from the bank that you matched and accepted from the banking will have this little green double green green flag here it means that it clear from the bank and that's a very important information here okay um, and let's suppose that some of the transactions were entered manually because maybe I don't know maybe the the, the bank missed some inf some information whatever it, whatever it was some of the information here uh, were added manually so when those information are added manually you want to pay uh, attention to those transactions because those could be the ones that are causing the error but um, I wanted to bring attention to some of the features in QuickBooks that will help you reconcile uh, one of them is the fact that all the headings are um, you, uh, you can actually use them they're all filters that you can use in order to reconcile the account I use the payment and the deposits a lot so that I can I can go by amount I also use uh, sometimes payee and but most of the time I'm gonna use the clear date and the date the clear date is very important because I want to make sure that I focus on the transactions that clear the bank because sometimes those are the easiest ways to spot those transactions that actually didn't belong here okay uh, and then there is another f feature that I use as well when I click on clear date I want to take a look at the transactions that cleared for last and a lot of the time even though the transaction says is for this month it didn't clear until the following month and then I can uncheck those transactions so that they can be matched for the following bank uh, I'm sorry uh, following month um, all right so another thing that I wanted to pay attention is this middle tab here where it says payments deposits and all 
okay so what i like to do when i have problems with reconciliation is isolate the deposit from the payments and i like to start with the deposit i want to make sure that the deposits are correct so let's suppose that i'm looking into the bank statement i'm selecting one at a time i'm looking at the bank statement into the deposit and i'm making sure in selecting each of those transactions okay so you can if you prefer you can you can unselect all those transactions and go by clear date go one by one so i'm saying i see this deposit and i see this deposit and i see this deposit and this deposit this deposit this deposit this deposit and so on and so forth i'm looking at the bank statement in one screen looking at this um register at the other one and i can check each of those transactions individually i look at the bank statement now my deposits are correct i'm still off by 877 dollars so now we're going to go to payments and we know that the problem is going to be in payments because the deposits are all correct okay and let's suppose that i selected all the transactions okay i went one by one I use my filters, I use whatever I needed to add to add the transactions. And I found out that those four transactions did not belong here. They, be, you know, they were cash transactions or they were credit, other credit card transactions, personal credit card. So they don't belong here. So I need to change this. I need to put this into the right account. In this case, it was all cash transaction. Uh, let's suppose I paid with cash, but maybe when I send the receipt, uh, when you send the receipt and you added the expense, you ended up adding to the wrong account, and then you reconcile, find those, and you don't know what to do. So what you do, you click on it right from the register, you click on uh, edit, and you're going to open up that transaction. And right from here, you can ch change the payment account and put to where it actually belongs. Okay, if it is cash on hand, you can just click on cash on hand, save and close, and it's going there. Let's suppose this one, though, let's suppose that it was paid with a different credit card. Maybe it was paid with this MasterCard here, not with this account. So we're going to select the right account, and I'm also going into the MasterCard account and make sure that we match this transaction so that we're not duplicating it, okay? So when is a credit card? When, when is cash off on hand? Doesn't matter because it's not coming from the bank. So if you're recording there, it should be fine, right? So this one, we're gonna put on cash on hand. If you don't have a cash on hand, uh, how, to, how to add one, you just can add new and it's a bank account, cash on hand, and save and close, or petty cash, whatever you call. You don't wanna create too many accounts, by the way, but sometimes cash on hand is important if you, if you work with cash on hand. If you pay, if you receive money and you pay people with cash on hand, you want to have this account and record everything where it needs to be recorded, okay? So we're gonna save and close here, and Finally, I'm going to select this last transaction. It also belongs to cash on hand. And voila! Yay! <laughs> now, a couple of things that are, is very important to notice here is that the top check box is checked. And every single transaction is selected. Now I can go to my all and everything is selected. There's a zero difference and we verify that all these transactions were in the um, bank statement. Now let's suppose that I still had a difference here. We're just going to suppose. And what's the next step, Claudia? So a lot of times, you know, when, especially when QuickBooks automatically select all the transaction and maybe you have uh, a difference of a few dollars whatever and you don't know which transaction the first step to make it easy for you like i said i click on clear date i'm gonna verify if maybe this transaction the last transaction here 
even though the date is the 31st, maybe the clear date was, was the following month. And if that's the case, I would uncheck this transaction and this would bring a zero balance. But that's not the case. Everything belongs here. So we are going to select this one. So that's one way. And it, when I unselect that transaction, that transaction will show up on the next month so that I can reconcile, okay? So do use all the filters. All, like I said, all these headings up here in the middle of the page, those are filters and they are very useful. Uh, you can use a clear date or the date that you, the transactions actually happen. And of course, if you're doing monthly, you're not gonna see anything in October or November, except if they were checks and didn't, didn't clear until later on in the month, okay? So that's the zero balance. That's what we love to see, and that, that's what makes me so excited every time, especially <laughs> and when I have a challenging reconciliation and I see this zero difference, oh, it's a happy day. It's a day that we celebrate, okay? We are going to go back here. Okay, so this is it for how to fix or how to remove transactions that does not belong, how to fix a reconciliation so you can finish reconciling it correctly. Thank you for watching. Without you, I wouldn't be here, and I really like what I do. So, <laughs> let's make a deal. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. And it helps me come back each week and gives me the motivation to come back each week and bring different, uh, different tips and di different things that will help you um, do your work. Either you're a business owner and you do your own books or you're a bookkeeper or an accountant and you're working for somebody else's or on somebody else's book. You know, I'm here for you to help you out. I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> so I can help you. I can uh, share with you the knowledge I gained over the over 20 years of using QuickBooks Online. <laughs> so um, give us a thumbs up put any comment if you if you have a suggestion if you want us to cover s certain things in the future put put us put it down below on the comment section and most importantly now subscribe to our channel <laughs> this is how we keep bringing this content to you so if you subscribe to our channel it helps it helps us quite a lot. Also share with your friends, with your co-workers, with whoever you want to share it with, share with the world. We want to help has, as many people as possible. We want to be back each week to help you out. And I hope to see you and I hope that this will make a difference either in your practice or in your business. Remember that you want to keep your books up to date and correct, not just for tax reasons, but mostly for for you to be able to understand your business, how it's doing, knowing your point of re reference, so you can target uh, your goals in the right direction, right? You want to go, um, you want to set your target to the right direction, but you need to know where you are in order to go to the right direction. And that's what we're here for. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next week. And until next week, keep on smiling.